Hey my loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you decided to get ready with me because I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial on how to get this super bronzy glam look. So if you wanna see how I achieve this, make sure to keep watching and let's do this. So thank you guys for deciding to get ready with me. And to start off, I always wear these, it's the back, LA Pure Eye Treatment Masks. 24 karat pure gold and as I've said in my other videos this is Red Bull for the eyes so anytime I am filming or going somewhere to like a special event I always start off by putting these on So now I'm gonna begin by prepping the eye area because I always do my eyeshadow first. I'm gonna prep my brows first before my eyelid and basically what I will do is take this pencil and line all the way through my brows but I will do a second line underneath the eyebrow just to give it an extra pop and add a little bit of shimmer to it when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So as you can see, I made sure to blend out all the areas. I'm gonna go in one more time with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil and just underline underneath the eyebrow. And then as you can see, I blended all the way down. And then next, I'm gonna take the NC35 concealer and then use this as the base for my eyes. So now that my eyelids and my eyebrows are prepped, I'm gonna start off with shaping my brows first. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo, and then I use this eyeshadow brush to prep. It is brush number 263 from MAC. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the darker shadow and line all the way around my eyebrows, and then to shade it in, I'm gonna use the lighter brown to shade in hair strokes. And what you wanna do is when you're first lining it up with the darker, you wanna make sure that you don't really go over the brow too much. You don't wanna overline your brows. And then when you are going inside, you'll see that I'm gonna do single hair strokes. I'm not gonna just fill it in like I'm coloring. I'm gonna do individual hair strokes to kind of mimic the hair. So let's start off with the darker brown first to outline my brows. And now that I'm done filling my brows in, I grab this little brow brush and a tad bit of hairspray, and you wanna spray away from the face. And I brush my brows up just to give you that thicker, fuller brow, and this little brush to hairspray the brows up. And so next we're gonna go straight into the eyeshadow. This is my go-to eyeshadow for the fold or the crease of my eye. And as you can see, it is the most used eyeshadow in this little case. The other one right down here just because it fell on the floor. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Make sure that less is more, especially in the beginning because I did prep my eyes with concealer that you only dab on a little bit at a time. It's more important to go back and re-add than it is to just smudge it on because right now, the bottom of my eyelids are still wet from the concealer, so it'll kind of just stick and then it'll be really hard to blend. So now that I have one thin layer on, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply until I can really get that crease that I want. It just depends on the look. So today we're doing like a bronzy glam. So I really do want to have extra of this color or this pigment into my crease. And then I went ahead and blended in the crease with just a fluffy brush all the way up to my top brow bone. And then next we're going straight into the glittery eyeshadow. This is a super easy two-step 
eyeshadow routine. I don't really like to use a lot of shadows just because I'm always on the go and I don't have time to apply multiple eyeshadows like a lot of my makeup artists when they do my makeup do. I mean, I would love to be able to have the time in future videos when I do, I will be able to show you kind of like a more extensive eyeshadow routine, but this is my go-to look. So what I'm showing you is what I do when I'm going out. This is the glitter shadow. It is in chocolate brown. It's from MAC. I know a lot of my labels are missing just because I'm always on the go and putting these into like makeup bags and it wears down the labels, but I will show you right here. I'll do a quick swatch. And this shadow is super pigmented, so I'm just gonna show you right here, just even with one stroke, how pigmented that is right there. It is a gorgeous color. And so before I put on the eyeshadow, we need to have my favorite Too Faced. It's Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. And this is one of the best glitter glues I've ever used. So if you're somebody that likes to use a lot of powdery eyeshadows, this will make or break you. It makes a huge difference. I know there's other pigments, like colored pigment ones that you can wear underneath your eyeshadow that MAC has. I have those as well, but this happens to be my favorite. So we're gonna use this in this video because that's what I use in my normal routine. So you just apply a tiny amount. It really, you don't need a lot and that should be good for at least one of the eyes, if not both. So I like to keep a signature eyeshadow brush specifically for the glitter glue, and you just apply a small amount. You wanna make sure that it's all flat on the pad, just because you wanna get the surface area of your eyelid, and then you just close your eye, and what I'm gonna end up doing is applying it right over the lid. I'm not gonna go into the crease because then it's gonna get sticky. So basically everything underneath the crease. And then before the glue can dry, I get a flat brush by MAC. It is brush 239 to apply the pigment, which is chocolate brown from MAC. And then going back in with the brush that I used for my crease, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend right at the crease. And you really wanna make sure you blend right away because the glitter glue can really stick. So I blended with both of the brushes that I used initially for my crease, and then I'm gonna go back into the second eye. And then up next, I'm gonna add individual lashes because I do have eyelash extensions on. They're about 50% full right now. Normally they're a lot more dramatic. So if they are, I wouldn't be applying eyelashes. But for this video, because I have lost about 50% of the fullness, I'm gonna add these Kiss eyelashes. They are in the medium lash size. I got these from the drugstore for $5. And then the Duo Adhesive Lash Glue. And I'm only really gonna apply three or four to the ends of my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the longer ones, staggered out, and just add them individually and I would say I'm gonna max do four just to give it like an extra pop and then to help me apply the lashes I'm gonna use my tweezer man tweezer it's the one with the pointy tip you could use the one with the thicker tip as well but this one's just a lot easier to apply so I'm gonna use these to help take off the lashes put the glue on and then I'm gonna apply them individually to the end of my lashes So, so far I've used three of the mediums on the outside and then I'm gonna use one short to complete the eyes because I don't need a lot like right in the front. I still have my eyelash extensions on there. So three of the mediums and then one of the short. The lashes are done and now it's time to finish up my eyes. I'm gonna use this MAC Feline. It is a eyeliner or eye pencil that is used to put into the waterline and it's super pigmented as well. I'll show you right here, just even with like one or two easy strokes. Very pigmented, this is pretty much my main choice for eyeliner or eye pencils. There's another brand that I use as well. It's actually a drugstore brand, which I will show you. I just don't remember where it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my waterline on the bottom and on the top. make ugly faces when I'm doing my mascara and my eyeliner. Now it's time to take these babies off and 
and it always feels so good. I can't even tell you if you actually ever get one of these. And so the eyes are done. I am gonna add eyeshadow underneath my waterline once I add my concealer. But let's go into my face makeup first. My skin has been super dry lately, so I definitely need to moisturize my skin first. This is the Kiehl's Super Fluid because I will be going outside. It has UV Defense, SPF, 50 plus I am looking for a more organic way I'm trying to expand my skincare routine just because it's very basic and I'm always open to trying new things so I'm looking for something natural I heard there's like argan oil that's like really good for your skin so let's start with the moisturizer first Moisturizers on and then next we're going straight into my foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty You have to make sure to shake 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 before you use it It is the pro filter soft matte it is in color 300 and then to apply I use the Mac brush 170 to apply the foundation. This is my favorite fluffy brush to apply foundation So I'm gonna apply it all over my face and onto my neckline And this is definitely a full coverage foundation. As you can see, it kind of gave me like a yellow dewy look. The reason why I like this foundation is because of the yellow undertone that it has. I don't really like to tan my face. So even when I'm out in the sun, I make sure to protect my face at all times because it's good for anti-aging and also it's really bad for your skin. As I mentioned several times, I have a sensitive skin, especially on my face. But I do love the Fenty Beauty. I have Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer for the days that I don't really want to have a lot of face makeup. And going into Fenty Beauty or keeping the trend going with Fenty Beauty, next I have my contour stick, which is the Fenty Beauty right here. It is the Truffle Match Stick. This is my favorite color when it comes to the contour. If you have a similar skin tone to myself, this is the best contour stick because I've tried a bunch of them and this is the one that fits the best for my tone. I think Rihanna's killing it with her facial products. I am obsessing over everything Fenty Beauty lately. So I'm gonna use the contour stick to kind of outline my face. So I'm gonna outline right here where my temples are the bridge of my nose and then where my cheekbones are and then the outline of my face and my neck and then I also always contour this artificial line I have right here it drives me absolutely nuts <laughs> I mean it's a part of me so I love it but it drives me nuts so you'll see me contouring my neck as well And then I have the NC35 again with a larger flat brush to apply the concealer under my eyes and I use multiple concealers. So this is the first one, NC35. So that was the base of my concealer where I highlight the areas. And then next I'm gonna go with my Naked Skin by Urban Decay and it is in the color medium to light neutral and then I will go in and fill in the areas that are to be highlighted. And then before I start blending, I use two different beauty blenders. This one is the smaller one, it's specifically for my concealer, and then this one is a larger, thicker one, and it's for the areas that I contour. I don't like to mix the two, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I had two of them and I decided to keep them separate. So first, I'm gonna go in blending all the highlighted areas and then after that, I'm gonna use this to blend in the contoured area. And I also use a brush sometimes, but in this video, I'm just gonna use my beauty blenders to do that. And now that the blending is done, so I blended the contour and then the highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Gold is the New Black by Dose of Colors. It is a highlighter and I'm going to highlight certain areas of my face. For this, I honestly just use my fingers just because it's a lot easier and it's a lot more controlled and I just dab on a little bit onto this. I actually got this from my makeup artist, Ariana, so thank you, Ariana, for this because I absolutely love it. Super pigmented, looks great on my skin tone, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my areas.
And then after that, I'll just keep going with the under eyes or the shadows underneath the waterline. I'm going to grab the original shadow that I used in my crease, which is the orange one right here. So first, actually, let me start with this. Step one, I'm gonna grab this line underneath my waterline with a darker shadow. Step two, I'm going to line underneath that with the original crease shadow. And then step three, I'm gonna apply the highlighter into the corner. So basically I'm using all the products that I use to do my eyeshadows and my brows, just making it super easy so you can stick to a limited amount of products. I need to apply the mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, my favorite mascara ever. It's like $6 at the drugstore. So I'm just gonna apply one or two layers on the bottom of my lashes. Nothing on the top because I have eyelash extensions. And now the eyes are done. I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my contour. So aside from all of that contour I did on my face, I am gonna add bronzer on top. This is the MAC Mineralizing Powder. And then I use this brush from MAC as well. It is 168. And then I just apply a little bit to the brush and highlight the area that I use with the Fenty Contour Stick. And then on top of the bronzer, I always apply a tad bit of blush just because I like to have rosier cheeks. This is Plum Foolery from MAC. It is a shimmer blush. And just like I did with the bronzer, I'm just gonna apply a little bit onto the brush and then apply to the cheekbones. And last but surely not least, we're gonna do the lips, which happens to be one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna use my favorite lip products. I did lose my Huda Beauty lip liner, so for this lip routine, I'm gonna use my MAC. It is the half red lip liner. This is actually one of my favorite lip liners I have. And then I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipsticks. These are definitely one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. And basically, first I'm gonna apply the lip liner, kind of giving it an ombre effect and an outline. I'm gonna start with the darker liquid lipstick. This is Trophy Wife. And then for the center, I'm going to go with Bombshell. And voila, so the full glam is done. We're talking brows, contour, eyeshadow, lashes, lipstick. So this is my go-to bronzy glam look. And I'm so glad that you guys decided to get ready with me. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it two thumbs up. And then of course, subscribe below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.